Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly, Bishop Bowser, coming at you once again. You know, the other day, me and my wife was having a discussion about if she got sick or was dying and knew that she was going to die, that um, she wouldn't have a problem with uh, choosing the next wife for me, right? And we got into this discussion, discussion because um, she knows someone and I know them too, but I didn't know that this actually occurred, that um, the wife was dying and before she died, she chose the next wife for her husband and he ended up marrying her after um, she died. And so when, when she had brought that up to me, I was like, no way, that ain't going to happen with me. You know, if something, you know, I, I hope that we, you know, live to grow old. We already get old, but grow old and die together. Oh, not so much die together, but die old, you know. Uh, so we don't have to worry about all that. But, um, and she agreed. But, um, she was saying, but if something did happen to her, um, she said she wouldn't have a problem. And she, it sounded like she wanted to, right? Uh, choose the next wife for me. And my thing was, and I don't know what you all think about this, and this is why I'm sharing it with you for those who come in and view this video, is, you know, for me, I was sharing with her that, like, there's no way that that would happen, you know. And, you know, we had gotten into this discussion because we were talking about getting remarried if one of us died, right? And um, me and my wife, uh, we've been married now for 38 years. We got married on my birthday is when we got married and um and so that makes it 38 years 38 and a half years that we've been married and i'm 62 she's 59 i was um 24 and she was 21 when we got married we met when i was 23 and when she was 20 and so uh we've been together for a good while you know but there's some people that i know been way married way longer than us but we've been married for a while and um i've grown close to each other and love each other and care about each other and things like that but um you know sometimes we do have these discuss these discussions and so we were discussing and talking about getting remarried and so my thing was with her is that i don't think i can get remarried if something happened to her if something happened to her like where my, where my mind is right now i don't think i would get married right and she was like well nah she was like uh, you're going to get married again because, you know, we believe as a Christian, don't believe in having sex outside of marriage and things like that. So she was saying that I wouldn't be able to go without sex. Right. And um, and I said, well, you know, I will take the risk. Right. I will at least try to stay single, you know, and not get married again because the way the women are today. Right. It's, it's just very complex and difficult to find the right person. And, and then that's when the discussion came up about. Uh, this other person that chose the wife uh, for her husband before she died and that she can do the same thing right to choose the right woman for me and my thing was is that I just don't think that that would work for me right because number one I'm really not looking to, to get married again and then number two um, I really don't I'm really not into trying to um, go through everything I went through with my marriage, with my wife, right? Of course, we got married when we were young, so there was a lot that we had to go through to get to where we are. And, you know, if I marry someone, again, that person most definitely would have to already, like, be ready. And I'm not just talking about marriage material, material but have the experience already of, of what it is to be a wife and know how to hang on in there, right? Because... I don't want to get married and end up getting divorced, right? I don't want to get married and end up being miserable, right? And it's a huge risk that you take when you decide to get married. I think marriage is a beautiful thing. It's ordained by God. And God said it's not good for man to be alone. And so we understand all of that. But just at my age, right? If I was younger, maybe so I would consider it. But just at my age, I just don't have time for the foolishness, right? And so that's kind of like what would hold me back. So I don't know, you know, my wife uh, think it would be a great idea for her to choose the next wife for me if something was to happen to her. And this is all hypothetical, right? Uh, choose a wife for me if something was to happen to her. But what do you all think? Uh, you know, put down in the comments, uh, would you let, if you were married or are married and something happened to your spouse, would you uh, let them choose your next spouse for you? And even in my situation, if I got in that situation where my wife said, do you think that's a great idea or not? 
I don't think it's a good idea, you know, for so many different reasons, but mainly because I just think that, you know, in this day and time, especially the kind of person that I am, it probably wouldn't last very long in the next marriage because I'm a very dominant man. And um, I'm one of those kind of persons that, you know, got to be the leader, right? And just today's society, women are not made that way, right? And that's why I say it would have to most definitely be a woman that's well experienced and maybe as a widow herself, you know, and and demonstrated that that um, she could be a good wife by hanging in there with her husband through thick and thin and been married for a while, right? Not these people that get married and been divorced two and three times, nothing, nothing against anybody. I got kids and family members and friends and people that I know has been divorced, so nothing against that, just for me, right? Um, and what I've been, I've never been divorced, never only been married once, and I don't, I don't plan on um, getting um, divorced, at least for my wife, because that's one of the things I told her, I don't believe in that. And then number two, just want somebody to love me, respect me, and understand me, right? And I just don't know if there's another woman out there that, that can do that. I'm, surely God has somebody and a lamb in a bush, but in my finite mind, I just, the way I think about it, I just don't see that. So what do you all think, right? Um, is that a great idea to let your spouse choose your next spouse for you? <laughs> God bless you.